Hey everybody, welcome back. Just want to say thank you very much for clicking on this video. I'm really excited about this one in particular. Really hope you enjoy it. Just a couple of plugs at the end of the video. And nothing else left to say, let's just get straight into it. So I didn't know who to play. <coughs> so I'm going to start off and roll and see what we get. And I've put a character on each boss. I didn't, like, it doesn't matter who fights who. I did it randomly, but yeah. Let's find out. I'm playing the Ironclad again. Oh, no, I, did you just do that yesterday? Uh, no, I played as a silent. But I love that you pay attention and care. I wouldn't get four. I took the silent out of the randomization because I'm not. I played the silent yesterday. I see. Because I pay attention, you do it like six hours a day, right? What? What's supposed to do? That feels mean. It's not mean. Feels a little mean. It's not mean. Oh, that was sounding like it. Did you hear that? I did. Spinning. Should be five strikes, four defense. Yep. <coughs> All right. Get a meow. Oh, we start with two coins and the loaded die. Oh, and I should. All right. So we'll take three coins. And then transform a card, gain five coins, or remove two cards and lose three. Oh, I'm removing two cards. Oh shit, we're, we're right at the start there. <clears throat> I'm gonna just remove a strike and defend. And then only three blocks? That's kind of scary. Mm. Well, actually, let's see what card we get. That's a shit Neal's Blessing, just by the way. Oh, perfected strike. Oh, it's in your hand. War cry, draw two cards, then put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. It's cycle. Cycle's good. I think I'm taking war cry. <clears throat> what is the upgrade for carnage and perfected strike? Um six damage for two or affected strike P plus two for every other card. Um <clears throat> I think I'll take War Cry. These are like rarer, but <laughs> this has more utility. I could just transform a card. How about we do that? I think I'll just transform a, a strike into Pommel Strike. It's just strictly better. Alright, that's my Nia's Blessing. No Relic, which is a shame, but I, I'll take a curse for a Relic. <coughs> Easily. And everything else is set up, so I can just get straight into this. Oh, 
we're gonna oh, we'll do our first encounter and then think about which way we're going. Small slime and an acid slime. Try not to cheat today. Sorry? I've rolled it every time last time. But thank you. We'll roll. A two. So this guy's doing weak and this guy's doing one attack. <clears throat> Simple turn for me. I may as well war cry. Um, <clears throat> well actually, I can just strike three times to kill, well actually, I have to choose a card to put on top of your draw pile, I guess it's going to be a defend. I'll just strike three times to kill the small slime. So he's dead. This guy gives me a weak token. Go to the next turn. Five, that gives me a block and he's gonna hit for two <clears throat> can I kill him I think I can right two plus four is six yeah so I want to go through the motions two energy to do two damage and make him vulnerable and he takes double damage from the next attack which is two which is four so he's dead we don't have to worry about anything else here try to go a little bit faster <laughs> now rewards are a potion, which is good because we'll be fighting the, um, probably be fighting this guy. Oh, yeah, no, I was thinking about it earlier. We might not kill him in the first one. War cry again. Twin strike or flex? Flex is really good, but it's really good with card draw. Twin strike's also very good. It synergizes with strength, so we'll try to get strength. If we don't get it, it's unfortunate, but I'll take twin strike. <clears throat> you can tell I'm all flummy. I can just go on top, it's not a big deal. Okay, so that's that. Now, I want the bonfires. And I want the elites, so I think the best thing to do here is I can get fight two elites and get two bonfires if I go up this way. If I go this way, it's two elites and one bonfire. Yeah, I think this is the smartest way. So we'll do that. I want those relics. Um, ominous Forge. Gain a relic. Well, oh, in, inside a small hut you find a forge. The tools are covered with dust, yet a fire roars in the furnace. So I can upgrade a card for 2 HP, which synergizes with me because um, I heal at the end of combat for 1. Or, so upgrading's good, or we get a relic. I think I'm going to roll a die. I think I'm going to do it. Relics are so good. Yes, that's a relic for free, baby. Once per combat. Exhaust up to two cards in your hand. So I can actually thin my deck based on who I'm fighting. That's really good. I just gotta remember to use it. It's the type of one I forget. Okay, we've got another event. Alright, hello friend, I am Cleric. Are you interested in my services so we can upgrade or remove? Uh, or heal, but we don't need to heal. Um, Upgrade or remove. I could get rid of a strike. We've already gotten rid of one. I mean, twin strike's good upgraded. We might want to upgrade our defense. For the moment, I'm just going to pay to remove a strike. So we added twin strike and pommel strike. We're good for damage at the moment. So I'll pay two coins to, or three point coins to remove.
And that's that. And we're going to the next combat. A looter. We'll roll to see if anything happens. Yeah, I get a block. That's pretty good. And I'll shuffle my deck and drop. Still gonna try to get the ascension keys. Oh, this could move over a bit. Also, I can see the... Oh, everything's in frame though. Nuts. That's okay. So we've already rolled our die. We know he's going to hit for two. We could bash and defend. Wait, we heal for one at the end of the combat. So I might just... I think I'm going to bash. Two damage. Give him a vulnerability token. And then pummel strike for four damage. And draw two cards. There's Warcry. So next turn we know he's hitting for three. So I'll draw two cards. Can we kill? Oh, I can kill him next turn if I put Twin Strike on the top of my um, draw pile there. Okay. He hits for two, so one damage, one damage. Let's lost that. Go to the next round. Nothing happens. Draw five. As long as I draw a strike, he's dead. So, 2 damage, 3 damage, he's dead. Coolies. And our rewards. Potion, vulnerability. And um, a card reward. Seeing red. Anger. Body slam. Okay, these are all good cards that I love. I think it's going to be seeing red. I love anger though. And at the end of combat I heal for one. Go back up to full. Next stop, I'm going to upgrade a card. Maybe Twin Strike, the Pommel, let's have a look. Pommel goes up a damage, it's probably gonna be Pommel Strike, because I'm always gonna wanna play it. This is the... <laughs> <clears throat> pommel Strike, where is it? Oh, I draw an extra card. Mm. So it might be Seeing Red, I love that. Or Twin Strike gets an extra thingy, doesn't it? Oh, it becomes 2-2? Two, two? That's Twin Strike. That's 4 damage for 1 mana. Energy, I should say. We'll go into an Elite fight. Is there an Elite I'm scared of? Um, I kind of want to see the red guy with the cleaver this time, instead of not wanting to see him. Sentries, that's annoying. It's actually super annoying. I might have to use a uh, potion here.
All right, start off by rolling six. I get a block. It's good. And he's going to hit for three, and they're both going to add a daze. I must choose nine cards. Far too used to the previous character. Um, he has seven health. Four, five, six. I need to read a rule. Vulnerable. It's doubled per attack. So if I make him vulnerable, I'll actually do four, eight. I might do that then. We'll use a potion. So I think I'll do it on this guy. Right, we'll make him vulnerable. And we'll play Twin Strike for one energy. For eight damage, he's dead. And then I'm definitely defending for one. And striking. This guy does more damage, so we'll burn him quicker. We'll strike him for one. I think that's worth the potion, just to eliminate one of the guys with the most health. This is a mantra token, not a vulnerability. <laughs> okay. Um, their turn, he hits for three, so I take one damage. And he adds a daze to my deck. And we go into the next round. Full strike seeing red. Okay, okay. We'll roll. Three. So he's going to hit for two and he's going to put in a daze. Um, can I kill him? This is two, four is seven. Yeah, uh, no, that's, no, that's not how maths works. We'll start, oh, oh, this stuck to the back of this. Well, fuck me. We'll, seeing red for one, which will give us two energy. And it exhausts. And I'll bash for two. So two damage and a vulnerability. And then I'll pummel strike for one energy to do four damage and draw one card. Uh, Warcry will play, draws us two cards and we put one back on top of our, it's hoping for damage. <laughs> On top of our discard, oh, onto our draw pile, so this will go back on top. I'll play this, get one block, we're going to take another damage here. That's annoying, I tried it, like if I use a potion, that's a fight I'm looking to win without, you know, permanent damage, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. So he'll add a daze here, and he'll hit for two. And we'll go into the next round. I should have exhausted a card. All right, he's going to daze and he's going to do two damage. This is a bit counterintuitive, but I'm going to do four damage to him. One, two, three, four. And then use the remaining energy to block twice. Uh, to block, he's going to add a daze to the top. He's going to hit for two, and we'll go into the next round. It seemed weird doing four damage when I only need to do one. 
there's three strikes here, we just win the fight. Yep, or a bash and a strike. So bash for two there, strike for one there, they're dead. Doesn't matter what I roll, nothing changes anything. Alright, reward. Two coins. We get a relic, and we can choose to skip this for a key. Gain 10, then discard this item. Hmm. I'm not seeing a merchant for ages, so I will discard this and get a key. This one, right? Yeah. And we'll uh, we get a card reward. Ooh, flame barrier. Ooh, iron wave. Iron wave becomes two and one, or one and two. This is really good. Take flame barrier though. I love this card. I'm always taking it though, and I don't do well, so. Hmm, thinking. Alright, next thing is a relic. So if it's a good one. Let's play combat if you shuffled your draw. Gain a strength, it's really good for me. Really, really, really good. Oh, I didn't heal a thing for that combat. We'll do an event. Big fish! Heal 2 HP, upgrade a star strike, gain a relic and a curse, or remove a starter strike. A uh, relic and a curse sounds amazing, thank you! Trigger a die relic ability. Yikes, that's not a good one. Unplayable Ethereal. So that means it will exhaust um, after it goes, like, come, after I draw it. Not the worst thing in the world. Next, we'll upgrade a card. Um, do we want to do Flame Barrier or Seeing Red? Probably Seeing Red, but we only get to play Seeing Red once. We have to play Flame Barrier every time it comes around. Uh, flame Barrier. It gives it an extra block. Yeah, I'll upgrade Flame Barrier. And we'll go into the next combat. damage as possible this turn. Seeing red pommel. Pommel's good to get on turn one. Alright, so <clears throat> we'll roll. Doesn't actually affect anything this turn. We're seeing red to get an energy. I'll pommel strike for two and draw a card. There's bash. We'll Bash for two. Get a vulnerability token. Um, I played one for Pommel Strike, then two for Bash. And then I'll Twin Strike for eight damage. And he's down to ten health. Okay, he wakes up. We go into the next round. Rolling. I get a block. Hmm. I think I'll just... I 
think I'll block twice and attack once. It's so cucked though. There must be flame barrier must be here. Hold on. Yeah, it must be. So maybe I just block three times. If I block three times, we're not like we're slowly losing, we're not winning. Whatever. We'll block three times. Get to four block. He hits for four, and that's that. He moves down the track. Alright, next turn. Wait, did I draw the curse? It should be ethereal if I didn't draw it. Ah, it's <laughs> it's in there. Roll to see what happens. Okay, we get a block. Probably gonna flame barrier this turn anyway, so. Um, I'm definitely flame barriering. And. Well, it's for each thing in the next action, yeah. Alright, he takes one damage. I'll pummel strike for two and draw a card. And then I'll war cry. Wait, no, I've spent all my energy. Am I war crying here? Yeah, because I can put the best card on top of the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's twin strike. So I'll just put that here. Um, this will become ethereal. Scoop the rest. He does four damage. Moves down the track. Draw five. Oh, I get strength. I've already shuffled once. I forgot. I gotta be on top of this. I'm gonna do even more damage. If I draw a bash this turn, he's dead. There it is. So, we'll roll, get a block, spend two on bash, takes three damage, and gets a vulnerability, and then I'll twin strike for three, doubled is six, twelve damage. All right. He's dead. Didn't, that wasn't so bad. I didn't take any damage either. We heal for one. Which means we're ready for the boss. Um, and we get two coins. A relic. Start of combat gain of an energy. Thank Gosh. Keep this here, um, and keep a vulnerability here, and a card reward. Rage. Shrug it off. It cycles and it blocks. Cycling's good. All right. It's like pummel strike, actually. Okay, event, uh, wing statue, remove a card, lose 2 HP, I think I want to do this, and I don't think I need full health for the boss, uh, you know, I could die, but if I die, whatever, um, oh, I could just remove this, Somebody's actually not that bad of a curse, but, I'd still rather a strike than that. So that's gone, and I'll lose 2 HP. And then I'll upgrade a card. It's probably going to be Shrug It Off. If it gives me an extra block. Like almost certainly. Yes. What was the other one before I do that? Seeing Red. Now this is always good. Yeah. 
Right, and we'll go into the boss. That didn't take long. 30, 35 minutes for Act 1. That's not the worst. Although we're not counting the full setup time. Alright, boss time. Awesome. The Guardian. He has 40 health. It's a lot, actually. Okay, attack mode. The Guardian starts this turn with no block, it doesn't attack this turn, and enters defense mode at the end of the round. The Guardian starts its turn with no block, it will shift over. It doesn't start with any. Okay, so I just need to do 5 damage on the second turn, I understand. Oh no, it only happens here. Oh yeah, 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 I understand. Might not do too well in this fight, but we'll find out. Okay. Press inverted. Yeah, I got it. Now I'm coming in here. Alright, roll to see what happens. Get a block, and we get an energy, and we'll start the fight. Start off by war crying. I'm going to put something on top of our draw pile. Hmm. Probably Flame Barrier? Oh, wait, but I'm about to draw. I should have done this afterwards, but it's too late now. Yeah, shit, that was stupid. Um, yeah, well, now it doesn't matter now. We'll Pummel Strike for one. Draw a card. I'll shrug it off. And draw a card. Yeah, it's not great. I really would have liked this next to. Well, do I? Eh, it doesn't matter. And then we'll spend our last two energy just doing two damage. I want to draw as many cards as possible because it gets me the strength quicker. It was kind of a shit first turn. Mostly because I screwed up. Um, then he'll hit me for two. We're not worried about that. He gets five block. Next turn he's going to hit me for six. Which is kind of spooky, which is why I wanted... The two... Defense, defense cards I have in the deck uh, <laughs> in my discard pile, so... I can... If he starts his turn with no block... Oh, I'm kind of screwed. I just take the damage. Nuts. Let's roll and see what happens. Wait, how does this work? If the... Guardian starts its turn with no block... Oh, so if I do... Yeah, 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 yeah. Because his turns are after me. So if I do 6 damage, which I can't do... Um, yeah, if I do 6 damage, he'll... Actually, I can. I can. I'll use a potion. So no, if I do 5 damage, which I can do... He'll go straight into defense mode. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. And I'll... Yeah. Okay, huh. I had to uh, read it again. Two energy to play both of these for five damage. That's the block. Go on. And then I'll just leave the rest.
So he mode shifts first. He has no block, so he's going to not attack this turn and go into defense mode. And anytime I attack him while he's in defense mode, I take one damage. Alright, let's draw. And because we've shuffled, I could have exhausted cards. Because we've shuffled, we get a strength token. Oh, Shrug it off's really good here. And I rolled a 1, so I'll activate load to die to get a block. Okay. This is activated. Question is if I want to draw. I'll start off by shrugging it off. I get seeing red, I can do a bunch of stuff, but no, no, I no, I do need to shrug it off. I do. So I'll shrug it off. That will get me three block. I'll draw a card for one energy. Let's not forget. And then I'll just bash him to set up for next turn. So I'll spend my last two energy to bash. It does three damage because of my strength. And he gets a vulnerability token. Right. Do I want to exhaust any cards? I can get rid of a strike and a defend. I'm just gonna thin the deck a bit more. Oh, sorry, they need to exhaust. Okay. Just go somewhere else. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we'll see what he does. He does two damage. Whatever. Moves down the track. Now he's going to hit for four and get a strength at the end of the turn. Well, there's Twin Strike. Yeah, I can hit him for a lot this turn. Um, we'll roll. See? Nothing happens. Reset my track. So I'll flame barrier. Yeah, I'll take. No, I don't have to take a damage this turn. So we'll seeing red. We'll flame barrier for four. And he's going to attack me, so he takes a damage. And then I'll twin strike for. 3, 6, but it's doubled, so um, 6, 12. And then I take a damage because he's in defense mode, but then I'll block for 1. Yeah, wait. Yeah, that's 4. I had 4 energy this turn. So I blocked for 1, putting me back up to 4. He hits for 4. That's blocked, and you'll get a strength token. And he loses his vulnerability. And then he enters attack mode. Cool. And now he has a strength, so he's a little bit spookier. Look how small my deck is now. It's like two draws, which means like most of these are quality cards that I want. So that's really good. There's Bash. So he's going to hit me for three. One. Oh, I can trigger my block. I'm definitely going to Bash this turn. So I'll spend two to Bash. That does three damage. Oh, uh, well, I was on one. Yeah, no, that's right, that's right. Three damage and a vulnerability. And I'll block for one. He'll take his turn, and he's going to hit me for three. I've got two blocks, so I take one damage. Nothing changes there. Next turn. Two, three, four, five. Oh, he gets, um, sorry, he gets five block. There we go. 
All right. Oh, I should plug this in. <laughs> Whoops. I think we're good. And does the cord go over though? No, weirdly, the cord is out of frame. Okay. Yeah, that's really All right. So where were we? I have not rolled. I don't think yet. Three does nothing for me. Okay. So this turn, I'm definitely starting off with a twin strike. This will do twelve damage because he's vulnerable and I'm strong. So I'll do one energy. 12, so that's 5, minus 7, it's down to 11 health, we're getting him, we're getting there. Um, he's definitely going to go into defense mode next turn, so I can just attack. The pommel strike for 3, uh, boom, that draws us a card. Look how thin this deck is, I love, I love this, it's so small. Um, and I draw a card. There's Twin Strike again. <laughs> so, and I'll... Um, I Twin Strike and then I Pommel Strike and I'm going to Twin Strike again for six. And he has no block at the start of his turn. So he's going to mode shift into defense mode. He does nothing else. And I'll draw my next hand. We'll roll to see what happens. A 1 gives me... it activates Dolly's Mirror, which means I get to choose any die. So I'll activate Loaded Die. And get a block. And yeah, I can just kill him. I will take 1 damage though. Well, I got the block though, so yeah, we're good. I just need to play Bash, I guess. And he's dead. Use 2 energy to do Bash, do 3 damage. I think he hit me for 1 damage. That went really well. Alright. Yay for me. Hey. I love ya. What is? Yeah. What do you mean like dorks? We are dorks. Back up to full health for killing the boss. And we get three coins. We get a choice between three boss relics. Kinda want energy if I can get it. Transform three cards or upgrade three cards. Transforming might be better, because the only cards I have left- oh no, I have three cards I want to upgrade. It'd be Seeing Red, Warcry, to draw three, right? And Bash? What's Bash do? Oh, it's four damage. Okay. It's not the biggest deal though. This just does an extra damage, it doesn't draw another card. So if I was to upgrade, it'd be those two and like maybe a defend. But if I transformed, it'd be two strikes and a defend. Would be replaced with random cards. I think I'm gonna transform. Cause the core of the deck is not the strikes or defense. So as far as I'm concerned, anything else is better. Maybe we get like a power card to give us extra strength or something. Or better defense cards. Yeah, so I'm going to take out these three and add three random cards. Here we go. Spot weakness. Is shit. Heavy blade. Is shit. And disarm is shit. No, disarm's good. Um, 
not the best. I would have preferred, now, after the fact, I would have preferred upgrading, but you don't know. I took the risk. They're not shit, you know, they have their places. The first one is a bit rough. Okay, because it's literally unusable unless you... Where is it? Strength to any player if the die rolls on this. So unless the die rolls on one, two, or three, it's a dead card in your hand. It doesn't do anything. Wait, what happens if we upgrade it? Because that's shit. Drawing a dead card never feels good. Yeah, it turns it to one, two, three, or four. Yikes. Yeah, that's rough. Okay, anyway. Ooh, I love Uppercut. Ooh, I love Double Tap. Exhume. Put a, exhaust, um, put a card from Exhaust Pile into your hand. Is also very good. These are all really good cards. Let's look at their upgrades and see what we want. We'll try to think about what the deck's lacking. Uppercut just adds a vulnerable. Eh. Double Tap becomes zero. That's amazing. And Exhume becomes zero. I think it's going to be Double Tap. Yeah. Okay. I might have just destroyed this deck. I was just talking about how it was good. I might have just destroyed it. Alright. Get into Act 2. Okay. We're good to get moving here. Roll for the boss. It's this guy. I think that's the guy that summons dudes. So maybe we look for AoE damage. Uh, we draw our first dude. Spheric Guardian. It's 5 health. He starts with 10 armor. And let's go. Two, three, four, five. We'll roll. Two. Okay, spot weakness is actually good here. Oh, I get strength. Oh. Yeah, I, oh, and I get... Sorry, one energy at the start of combat. Okay, spot weakness immediately became good. Fuck. Um, well, let's see. I have no way of getting blocked this turn, so I'm going to take damage no matter what. I think I see my turn here. So we'll spot weakness for one energy to give myself a strength. Then I'll disarm, which exhausts, to give him two weak tokens. And then I'll double tap twin strike. And I have strength now, so um, we'll do three, six, and then we'll attack twice, so 12 damage. Uh, boop. Then he'll hit me for one because of the weak token, and I'll take one damage. All right. Having the strength now is really good. 
Oh, he gets five block as well. And he's going to do five damage. So I just need to do eight damage this turn. Is that possible? Three plus six is nine. He is dead. So just to say what happens here, three damage because of the strength, the two energy, and then three damage because of the strength because of... Oh uh, yeah, three damage because of strength for one energy, but because of the vulnerable we'll be putting on, he, that will be doubled to, to six. So three plus six is nine, and he only has eight health. So he's dead. And at the end of combat, I heal for one, so that worked out perfect. Rewards are one coin and a card reward. Oh, two true grits, so we'll replace one. Oh, and it's a golden ticket. Oh, Jesus, I want that. Oh, Jesus. What's his upgrade? Does it cost two? Because that'd be amazing. Yeah, I'm taking that. <laughs> Easy peasy. Thank you. But now the deck's starting to get too big. So I gotta chill the fuck out. I always say that and then I add cards, so, you know. We won't shuffle yet, because we don't know what's going to happen. We'll move up event card. I feel like this still isn't in frame. Moloth. An odd creature stops uh, scrounging through trash to approach you. Not Moloth hungry, feed Moloth. You can give him a random relic to get... Uh, Rare reward? No. Give a potion to get a rare reward. Or well, nothing happens. I don't want to keep. I don't want to fill my deck out, so nothing happens. Thanks. All right, let's go to the shop, and let's make sure we try to remove a card. Sundial. It's pretty good. It costs seven. <laughs> Mutagen's kind of good, yeah. I'm supposed to do a card reward, I always forget. Oh, Metallicize is good. It costs three. So I have... Three, six, nine, ten. I can buy Sundial and remove a card for ten. So I'll do that. Now I'm broke. It looks so good spilling out of the bag. All those coins. I love it. Like, set it up like that on purpose. I'm like, I'll just put the bag and I'll just pull on the back of the bag and it'll look cool as shit. And I was right. Okay. So, what was the other thing I did? Remove a card. So, let's think. Three defense. Utility, damage, utility, block, block, damage, utility, damage, utility, damage. It might be heavy blow. Oh, no, because we're going to get a lot of strength. Damage, utility, utility. I might keep the defense. How many of these leave play? This leaves play, this leaves play, this leaves play, this leaves play. Looking at the distribution here. So it's not many attack cards, honestly. But I feel like I can't just get rid of a defend. So... Hmm... We definitely need to block.
Or I could buy the Metallicize for three, instead of removing a card. I don't want to add another card to the deck, I want to remove one. I'll lose the strike. Oh, that feels bad. But, I did it. I don't have, I only have four attacking cards in the deck now. Oh my god. <laughs> we'll look at rewards and just... Hope to get attack cards, okay? <laughs> it's better than a strike. Alright, we'll move up the track here. To here. Shell the Parasite. 18 health. Starts off by doing 4 damage. Jeebus. We get an energy. We roll to see if anything happens. I get a block. Okay, shrug it off is good here. Disarm is good. Actually, everything here is good. But what can I afford? I kind of just want to burn him down because we know we're not going to be seeing attack cards after this. So how much damage is this? It's two plus six. Oh, sorry, no, it would be eight. Two plus eight is ten. How much else? And then he'll have eight more health. I think I need to do these. Oh, I could skip bash. We don't need the bash. Let's first off we'll shrug to protect myself this turn. Got three block. War cry. I'm definitely gonna do that because if I get seeing red, it changes my turn. Oh, and it means I could put twin strike on top of my draw. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, this might actually change the turn. Oh, there's Demon Form. Demon Form's not going to be useful this fight. So I have three energy. I have to put something on top of my discard before I move forward. I mean, on top of my draw, not my discard. Um, wait, why don't I just Demon Form? Because he only has 18 health, that's the reason why. I think I spend the rest of my turn doing these two, so I'll put that on my draw. I'll disarm him for one. And then I'll bash him for two damage and give him a vulnerability. I think that's a fine turn. We don't need a demon form. If I had rolled Sundial, this would have been a very different turn. Okay, he'll take his turn. He hits me for three. We're fine. He gets two block. He loses a week. We go into the next turn. And this turn he's going to do three and then make me vulnerable. Uh, if I see red, it puts. Oh, wait, roll? One. So I can activate anything. Um, I think I need to activate block. Wait, I don't need to activate block if I... I don't need to activate block if I get two energy, because then I can just play more cards. If I get two energy, it puts me to five, and this is five. So yeah. Well, no, because then I can see in red. If I get block, then I'll be at three. And I play this to get to four. And I go bang bang twin strike. And then I don't take damage. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, we want to do damage because he's going to make me vulnerable. Okay, so I'll. Yeah, okay. I've decided. 
we'll activate two energy. And then I'll spend two to block for two. Right. Oh, he's weak. I only take two damage. Oh, we're fine. This wasn't even the. This wasn't even a thing. Then I'll twin strike for eight. So two, six. And then I'll heavy blade for three. I don't have any strength, so no bonus for me. Then he'll hit me for two, get two armor, give me a vulnerability. And I'll draw. He loses this. Let's roll. Three is nothing, right? Ugh. Oh, I should, I should be exhausting. Also, I shuffled, so I get a strength. We could double tap. Oh, yeah, three doesn't get me anything. I could double tap for four, that puts him at five. Or I could double tap the bash. It should be three damage, puts him to six. And oh, then the second one will kill him. Yeah, so this, let's go through the motions here. So we're going to play one energy to double tap. My next attack is played twice. And we're going to spend the rest of our energy to bash. So I do three damage and make him vulnerable. And then I hit him for double. So three doubled is six. He dies and then he would get another vulnerability. Nice. Okay, rewards. We get a potion. And we get a card reward. Well, we're looking for attacks because I don't have any. Sever Soul could be good. Clothesline is good. Feel no pain. Whenever you exhaust a card, gain a block. Eh. Adding weak is nice. We can exhaust a lot of cards. I gotta remember to use the blue candle. It's like killing me. I'm gonna skip this. I know I want damage, but not for two energy. Okay, that's him. No coins, sads. Um, we'll go up. Should I take the key now, or is there something we're desperate to upgrade? No, we should definitely take the key now. If we're taking it ever, it's now. Yep. And we'll go into the hard elite. Blue and sl sl red slaver per player. Red Slavers act last. All right. Um, they all, oh man, this is not good. So the hard version puts two of these into my drawer pile. The burn version of them. Yeah, I'm probably taking damage here. I have no AoE in the deck. And the boss is an AoE boss. Feels bad. It's alright. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, fuck me. Oh, I'm just shuffling. It's the first turn, so I get an extra energy because of this. 
And let's see what's happening this turn. Because what I roll is going to be kind of wild. Six. So he's going to hit for two in days. He's going to hit for two in vulnerable. Fuck. And I get to trigger any die I want. Which means block or energy. And I don't need energy because I have seeing red. So I'll take the block. But that is, yeah, yikes. Alright, we'll start off by shrugging it off. Draw a card. Okay, we have something here. Um, three block. I'm gonna get hit for two, three, four, five. I might just draw. No, why would I draw? Why would I do it? What could I get this turn that would change things? I could kill one of them. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I feel like the longer this fight goes on, we're gonna be in big trouble. I don't know. If I speak, I am in trouble. So I choose not to speak. Spot weakness is worthless. Disarm is whatever. Okay, that didn't help me at all. So we'll get an energy. We'll disarm. Who do we want to disarm? Who are we killing first? Probably the Red Slaver. Definitely the Red Slaver. No, but he adds strength to everybody. Ugh, this is rough. Um, yeah, it'll be the Red Slaver that we'll kill first. Oh man, I don't know what to do here. I guess we'll put it on the blue slaver. Alright, two weak tokens for him. This is worthless. Um, I should attack and draw this turn. The quicker we get through the deck, the better. Uh, that <laughs> that's really annoying. Two damage on him. Oh man, that sucks. I'll spend my last two energy bashing this guy. I'll put a vulnerability token on him. And then that's my turn. Unfortunate. So their turn, he'll hit me for one because he's weak and add a daze to my draw. Um, one damage. He hits for one and gets one strength. Oh, he only makes himself stronger. Okay, I freaked the fuck out there for a second. And then he hits for two and gives a vulnerability. That vulnerability is spooky. Okay, it's really scary. Oh. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> wow. That's alright. So we'll roll. Four. I got one block. Um, I'm going to exhaust. Oh, excuse me. These two cards. And we'll war cry. Oh, what are they doing? Hitting for three, hitting for two, and dazing, and hitting for two. So we'll war cry for, to draw two cards. Flame barrier. That's good. And I can kill this guy as well. Alright, sweet. 
Oh, but he rolled the worst. Man. <laughs> I'm definitely taking a bunch of damage. So we'll flame barrier for four. Block. He'll take a damage. He'll take a damage. He'll take a damage. Oh, he's weak. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Oof. And I'm going to spend my last energy twin striking this guy to do a total of uh, eight damage. He has five, so he's dead. Cool. I'm still vulnerable. This exhausts, this discards. And then their turn. So let's, what's the interaction here? Does weak apply first? It should. If a weak target attacks a vulnerable target, attack is unaffected by both weak and vulnerable after attack remove. Oh, if a weak target attacks it, so he's weak and attacking me, who's vulnerable. Yeah, me. I'm vulnerable, thank you. The attack is unaffected by both weak and vulnerable. After the attack remove. Oh, so it just cancels it out. Oh, fucking based okay wait i didn't make him vulnerable i don't know why he's vulnerable he's not vulnerable okay so he just hits for three and he hits for two and gets a strength so we're actually fine this turn oh i was shuffling so i'm going to give myself a strength token this out of me. Yeah, that's better. Okay, two, three, four, five. We'll roll to see what happens. Six. So he's going to hit for four and days. I get to trigger any ability. Which is probably going to be blocked because I didn't draw any. Yeah, fuck me. <laughs> and we can't draw this turn. Wait, if I get energy... Oh no, this block right here. What am I talking about? Um, Hold on. He's going to hit for three this turn. If I can kill him, we're good. So I'll take the energy instead of block. That's activated. I have five energy. Two, four, six. Oh, yeah, it's not gonna work. Two, four, five. Yeah. So we flame barrier for two. Gets me four block. And they're both going to attack me, so they both take a damage. Then um, he has eight. And I do six. This does three plus three plus one is seven. So that's not going to work. So I have to use two cards if I want to kill him. So yeah, I'll spend the rest of my energy doing that. I will just kill him. That was like all my attack cards though. <laughs> so he's dead. He'll attack me for three and get a strength. Scary. One, two, three, four, five. This turn he's going to hit me for four. I get a block. I can't activate spot weakness. I'm going to spend one energy. Um, pummel strike do three damage and draw a card <laughs> do double tap it's killing me 
And then, yeah, I'm going to have to take a damage this turn. Because there's not enough attack cards in this deck right now. So yeah, I have to do this. Right? Yeah. He'll do his turn, hit me for one, and more. And get another strength token, and go again. Cards. My strength token's gone. I did get strength. I don't know where I'd put it, but yeah, I have strength. Okay, he's dead for sure. So it'll be three plus um, 12. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Oof. Critically lacking strength, uh, attacking cards. But that was the hard elite. So we get this. So we've built our key. Yay. And I heal for one. So it, yeah, it all worked out. I had to use a potion, but that's not the worst thing in the world. All right. Rewards, we get two coins. We get a relic. When you add a skill to your deck, upgrade it. And I can do that up to three times. It's a bit late, but that's okay. And an upgraded card. So upgraded version of any of these cards. Blood for blood. We could get Shrug it off. That's just good. It cycles. I get block. Let's see. Blood for blood. Shrug it off. We know it's just good. And how about combust? Two damage to any row. We are lacking AoE damage. If I take damage, this costs, if it comes upgraded. If I take damage, it costs zero, and I do four damage. Yeah, I, this is the right choice. <laughs> this is the right choice, but we don't have any attack cards. But this cycles. Uh, I value cycles so much. It's cycle and a block. That's so good. Cycling gets me to my attack cards, okay? <laughs> Taking it. God damn it. Oh. I need to remove those defend cards. Okay. move up I can upgrade anything what do we want to do what is this three weeks isn't that much of a difference um, oh demon form because I never get to play it yeah and we're coming up to a boss okay that's upgraded and we took no damage in that Elite fight, so I'm gonna go straight into the next elite fight. Get another relic. And if we take too much damage, I'll heal the bonfire, and if we don't take enough damage, then I'm going to upgrade. Um, double tap, probably. 
Anyway, let's go. Stabby boy. Okay, start a combat. We get a energy. Double tap's good. We get seeing red as well. It's gonna start off by doing one damage twice and um, strength. So if I can make him weak this turn, that'd be really good. One, I can activate any of the car, any of the die rolls. Take the energy, right? For sure. Yeah. So I'll take the, I'll take two energy from Sundial. I'll start off by shrugging off. Okay. Draw a card. Okay, we can't cycle anymore. I think we double tap bash. 100%. So this turn, your next attack is played twice. And we'll bash to do two damage and make him vulnerable and then do four damage and make him vulnerable. And I guess I just heavy blade. We have no strength, so it just, oh, I guess we do double damage. So he goes down to 28. If this guy gets through my block, then he um, starts adding wounds or dazes to me. So he's gonna hit twice and get a strength token. And we'll go into the next turn. Moves down to here. He's going to do four damage this turn. Rob a five, so I get a block. Yeah. This is worthless. Definitely war crying this turn. So we're going to draw two. Wait, oh, hold on. I should pummel strike first, right? And then decide what we're doing. Yeah. So we'll pummel strike for two. And draw a card. Okay. We'll war cry, draw a two. Oh, why is Pole Strike over here? Also, I used an energy. He's hitting for four. I could Flame Barrier. No, I don't have to. Mm, I have one block. It's going to hit for four. I want to disarm him because it affects next turn. Yeah, so... I think it's Disarm and Twin Strike. Um, to make him weak twice. Oh wait, no, I have to put a card on top of my draw. I have to put a card on top of my draw. Hold Twin Strike and put Flame Barrier on top of my draw. Yeah. Wait. What have I done this turn? Okay. The sound pummeled. Yeah, yeah, we're all good. Twin strike him for. Um. Four. And that's that. I don't know what I'm thinking right now. I'm, d I'm taking damage. I like lost the plot. So he's weak, so he's going to do 4, minus 1, plus 1. Oh sorry, he's going to do 3, minus 1, plus 1, so 3 damage, so he hits me for 2. 
and that puts a daze on me. And he'll get a strength and move up. Okay. And I get a strength. Um, he's doing, let's see, six minus two, four damage. I haven't rolled yet. Four. So I get a block. I think I just definitely flame barrier and twin strike. Flame barrier puts me to five, so we're safe. And twin strike does six damage. I'm not killing him quick enough. This is not good. And he does one damage from Flame Barrier. Um, his weak goes away. He hits me for four, right? That would be six with the weak, and then yeah. So we're fine here. And then he gets another strength token. Jesus. Okay, five, this is rough. Um, this hits for six. So this turn he's gonna hit me for six damage. There's nothing I can do, I just have to hit him. And I'll just have to heal. It's really frustrating, this card. I should just exhaust it. No. Mm. It's too late now, but it, maybe I should have exhausted it earlier. Um. What could I possibly draw that would help me? Twin strikes already come up. Like, what is it going to be? Like, bash? There's like nothing here. I could draw the, um, like, shrug it off, but that doesn't help me. I need to hit him. If I hit him, this is definitely happening, which means this is definitely happening. So I'll hit him for. Oh, I did this wrong earlier. Three, and then instead of it being four, it's now six. Before I did seven. Yeah, okay. So I'll go up a block and he'll take six. And I'll just exhaust these two. Just to. If I had exhausted them before, it would have cycled quicker. And he's going to hit me for six. So, rip. back, roll to see what happens, four is just a block, can we kill him? At the moment we have three plus six is nine. Yeah, if we double tap bash, it's three damage and then the next hit gets doubled for six and then he's dead. Okay, so that kills him. But ouch, I took a lot of damage. End of combat, I go up one health. And we'll do the rewards. Yikes! I really need to remember to exhaust cards. So we get two coins. Um, a relic? Okay, this is a really good relic. And then an upgraded card. It might be Cleave. 
Yeah, I'm not taking bludgeon. Upgrade a cleave. It's three damage to everybody. Yeah, we're going into a AOE fight. Plus, it's one damage for three. That's just good. And I'm gonna have to heal. Which is a bit unfortunate. But that's all right. Heal for three. Let's shuffle this. Let's make sure we sort of spread these out. I need to remember to... Exhaust cards. Look at our skill potion. Which we're definitely going to use because... I'm getting the axe three, you motherfucker. Alright, let's get into it. The Collector. It's 57 health. He spends his first turn summoning, so that's good for me. Hopefully I don't draw a cleave in the first turn. Oh wait, they're not here yet. <laughs> Alright. I'm trusting the heart of the cards here. Give me demon form in my first draw, okay? <laughs> my grandpa made me this deck. So there are no bad cards. Okay. Uh, one energy for the start of combat. Reset that. Let's go. I don't see demon form. Just saying. <laughs> um, well, we've got energy for the stuff I want to do this turn. So the first thing we should do is start cycling our deck. We'll do two damage here. Draw a card. Uh, I may as well disarm him now. Get rid of this. Make him weak twice. Another energy. Shrug it off. Oh shit. I'm going back. What if I shrug it off and draw the demon power? Okay. We're gonna shrug it off. I had four and I've spent two. Double tap. Well. Now I just have to double tap him. I can't pass up 8 damage. Hmm. Oh wait, I rolled a 6. So I can draw any... I can do any die ability. Oh, well, I'll draw a card. Seeing red. Well, well actually that helps, so... Seeing red, disarm, twin strike, double, uh, double tap, twin strike for eight damage. Um, that's not. It should be. Wait, five minus three. Yeah. 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 I'm freaking out. Okay, and then he'll summon two torchets. And move down the track. Okay, Jesus. Next turn. Roll a die. Five. Draw a card, get a block. I should have drawn two cards last time, oh, whatever. Because I triggered that, yeah. That's okay, I fucked up.
Okay. Things we know we're absolutely doing is shrugging it off. Because I'm gonna take a bunch of damage this turn, so we'll shrug it off. Go up three. Draw a card. You little fuck. I can war cry and put it on top. Yeah. I'll war cry now. To draw no. I either play it now or I how much damage could I possibly take? Oh, I'm at four block. Yeah, I play demon turn. I do play demon form this turn, 100%. So this goes like this. Demon form. Demon form. Demon form. Man, I must be a genius. Mega demon form. There's this game called Tales of Symphonia, and there's this funny meme that comes out of it. Whenever you do an attack in that game. The character says the... They say it out loud when they say it. When you learn a new ability, they do it immediately. So there's this funny video where it goes like, Demon Form! Oh no, Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Man, I must be a genius! Double Demon Fang! <laughs> Stupid. Um, so we'll Warcry, because I want this out of my deck. And we're going to exhaust some cards. Here. Okay. We put one card on top of this card, on top of the drawer, which will be cleave. Right? And then the rest go. And then I'm going to take some damage this turn. <laughs> so, he does three damage. Wait, does he go last or first? Actually, I think he goes first. Sheesh! I think it even shows you in the book that he goes first. Hold on. Because if he's giving strength to the other people, that sucks. Dick. I don't know. No, he goes last. Yeah, okay. Sick. Alright, so they hit for two. And then he hits for three, but he's weak. So he hits for two, and he gives strength to everybody. Okay, we're drawing. I didn't. Oh, I meant to exhaust cards at the end of that thing. Fuck. I'll do it. I'll do it as I go. <laughs> One, two, three, four. We get a strength. We get two strength tokens because we shuffled and demon form. Oh my god, we got double tap. Oh my loud. Okay, so that will do 10 damage to everything. He goes down. That. So that will kill these guys, so that's so worth it. Oh, I haven't rolled a die yet. Three. Nothing. I have to do this, and then I have to shrug it off. I think that has to be the turn. Yep. Alright. So we'll... Well, why don't we shrug it off first and see what we draw. Three block. And we draw a card. Yep. Um, yeah, I, we definitely just double tap cleave for five damage to everybody. And I'm just going to exhaust these. This could be the biggest mistake of my life. No, because we know the deck doesn't have enough defense. Right, what have we got for them? We've got two Shrugged Offs, we've got Flame Barrier. Do we have anything else? I don't remember my deck. Ah, uh, there's a spot weakness. There's... Twin Strike. There's Bash. 
Actually, I only have two shrugged offs and a flame barrier. That's it. What would I want to exhaust? I wish I could just flip through this deck and have a look. Right, let's see if I can think. Spot weakness, bash, twin strike. What, like a couple of strikes and a shake it off? Shrug it off? Strong enough. <laughs> um, let's exhaust one. And I will use that. Feels bad though, man. Or well, anyway, we're cleaving for ten. You're both dead. Okay. And then he takes ten damage. And then he's going to hit for five. So I take two damage. And he'll move down the track. He'll lose his weak token. The next turn will start. I'll get a strength token. One, two, three, four, five. Oh man. Heavy blade. If I can get a strength, I mean, if I can get an energy. Five. No energy, but I draw a card. Flame barrier. So. Um, current, let's think. Currently this does three, six, nine, twelve. If I bash and do this, this will do five plus ten. No, twenty. Hold on, let's think. Five makes it vulnerable. These are getting three strength, so they're five each, so it hits for ten and it doubles, so it hits for twenty. Yeah. Uh, we do this turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we've already rolled. So we're just going to do that. We'll spend our energy this turn. Doing bash and twin strike for 20 damage. I forgot about um, heavy blade was the card I forgot. And he'll go turn 20. <laughs> And then this guy's going to make me weak twice. Add two days cards. Add two of these. And then move there. Oh, I should have kept blue candle for this. I, gotta, I keep forgetting about status cards. Okay, one, two, three. Shuffle. I get a strength. Oh, this is uh, an unfortunate turn. This is a super unfortunate turn. Oh my god. I need to do damage this turn. Not nothing. One. So that makes... I can trigger a die relic ability. I think we draw a card is the best thing we can do. Unless it's the other burn card, and that would be fucking hilarious. Shrug it off. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I rolled a one. That got me to draw a card from Ink Bottle. Yeah. So, that's actually a pretty good draw. We'll get some block and draw a card. You know what, I'd rather see them this turn, you know? Uh, I can't get rid of them. Shit. There's nothing else I can do. I mean, I can play Flame Barrier, but it's not going to do anything, so... We'll take two damage from these. Nothing else happens here. 
these come back into play. What's that noise? What are you? Where are you? Mm. All right, next turn. Oh, I get a strength. Oh, did I get a strength token last turn? Sheet, I don't remember. <laughs> Can I double tap this guy into fucking oblivion? Okay, let's roll. A one, so I can trigger any relic I want. Let's think, because what I might want... Oh, I could always double tap cleave. Um, but will I die that turn if I do? Nah. Let's think. If we double tap this, we have five strength. So five times three is 15. Um, plus three is 18. Doubled is 26. He has 27 health. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll trigger the sundial to get two extra energy. And we'll double tap for 26. Oh, I am weak. But let's do the maths again. Let's think. It's 3 plus 5 times 3 is 15, which is 18. Oh, 36. Not 26. Why didn't you correct me? What's 18 times 2? 36. 36. He's dead. I technically do one less because of weak. Um, yeah, 35. But I will take the energy because... Just because I've killed him does not mean I've won the fight. So yeah, that'll take three energy to do. Boom. He's dead. 36 damage, holy shit. Then I will... Well, it doesn't matter now. I'll pummel strike just to get rid of my weak. For one. I'll do it here. It just does. Or it'll be 2 damage. Plus 5 is 7. Minus 1 is 6. It goes to 3. And I'll draw a card. And I've just got one energy left, so I'll cleave for eight. He goes to one, he dies. He hits me for one. As long as I draw a damage card, I do, I win the fight. Holy shit. Wow. That was kind of crazy. <laughs> All right, what a mess though. What? What a mess. Oh, wow. Sorry. All right, the collector. We get a choice between three boss relic. Oh, well, we get three coins. And actually, we can do these in any order, so I'm going to lay them all out and then choose. Because it might actually... like I would have done something different had I known the rare reward I was going to get last time. Ectoplasm's looking pretty good. I don't care about getting gold anymore. I think we just take Ectoplasm. Permanent energy increase. Double your strength. Or... Yeah, what's that? Do I want either? This is a dead card until I get demon form running or I shuffle the deck once. So it's definitely dead. Or spot the weakness. What is it upgrade to? 
it just doesn't exhaust. I want it to exhaust, because the max is 8. Yeah, no. Nah. I don't think I want any of these. Yeah. I think I'll, yeah, I think I'll skip it. Alright, Act 3, and you know what that means, it's coffee time! Slay the Spire. That goes to saying, I've only played the digital version. Um, this is maybe the best board game I've played. <laughs> um, probably because, uh, this is just my opinion, of course. Um, probably because it's so close to the video game and I love the video game. Personally, I like Monster Train more. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, guys. Um, but it's a very good game. And like this has its own quirks that has it play differently and have different rules and stuff but for the most part, I mean if you like Slay the Spire you're gonna like this. And I've just been having a blast. With the long weekend I've played this so many times. <laughs> We're just getting into Act 3 for the Ironclad at the moment. I'm just making a coffee in between Um, Axia. For anyone new, like the storage in this is so good. There's dividers for all your axe. Like here's the axe and like status cards, ascension cards, and then like your different character, you know, the ironclad, the defect, or the silent, all that, the watcher. Really good organization. I'm a big fan. No, you're not. You're a person. Ha 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 ha. He says he likes Monster Train Bed again. I think. Sometimes Slay the Spire is a hate fuck for difficulty, and Monster Train has a very similar ascension difficulty. And I think Monster Trains is just I think it's just an easier game, so I like it more. And you, you can both make of them make them really hard. And I just like Monster Train more. <laughs> I like both though. I mean, getting the board game here got me back into the video game. I've, I started a new character and I've been playing a lot of the video game. I've been having a good time. Alright. So, for people who've popped in, I'll just go over some of the relics I've gotten so far. My deck's kind of a strength deck. Kind of. If you're playing solo, you get the loaded die. Which um, does cool shit. I can exhaust some cards, I get strength when I shuffle. I can activate a die, energy at the start of combat, and it, uh, extra energy, upgrading stuff to a card. We'll see them, I'll, you know, they'll make more sense as I go through them, but as we play. But yeah. We'll do our first combat and then I'll decide which way I'm going on the track. Oh, we have to pick a boss. Whoopsie. I have collected... The three ascension... I call them ascension keys. I don't know what to call them. The three emerald keys... No, that's... I don't know. The ascension keys. I'm just going to call them ascension keys. Fuck it. Oh, that's a summon. So I've picked up all my doodads. Alright. Let's see who we're fighting. Five. The snail. Yeah. He's a time snail. He has a pocket watch in one hand. How does he have hands? He's a snail. You think snails don't have hands? They have little I don't think you've met enough snails, babe. Okay. <laughs> How many of you met exactly? More than you. Thank you. 
Alright, so we've got our boss, our deck shuffled. We now permanently have an extra energy. So we start every... This is huge for, for this deck. Getting that extra energy is huge. It means I don't get gold anymore. So this is the gold for the rest of the run, which is seven. So I could buy I could buy a relic more likely if I hit two merchants, I will remove a card at each of them. Transient. Oh this is a oh god. I haven't fought this in the in the board game yet. That's 99 health. Uh, okay. I'm gonna give it a special give it a yellow cube. Shift. When transient loses HP, the player in its row gets that much block. Okay. Okay. He ends up doing 15. Transient dies. Uh, uh, just go back up to full health. Draw our five cards. Start of combat, we get an extra energy. So we're up to five. And yeah. We'll roll a die to see what happens. Three. Fucking nothing. So we have to deal with six damage this turn. Okay. We could double tap Pummel Strike to draw two cards. And that will do four damage, so we should be fine this turn. So we'll do that. We'll double tap Pommel Strike. So we play this card twice. For four damage. And we get four block. And we draw two cards. Um, something else I can really do. I just need to do some damage. Yeah, I'll just spend the rest of my turn doing damage. So we'll do six by playing both of these. This takes him to 89 and I get full block. Here's a question. Can I go above the tracker? The tracker ends in 10. Oh, block is 20 max for players. Okay. Okay, that's that turn. He'll hit for six. And he'll move down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Roll. A four. That gets us block. Uh, yeah, one block. Start with four energy. He's gonna do nine damage this turn. Yikers. Well, we can deal with that pretty easily. Um, we'll bash for two. That does two damage and adds a vulnerability token. And I get two block for doing two damage. And then I'll twin strike for Four doubled is eight. That takes me off the track to, what would it be, 11. And then he hits me for nine and we're good. Next turn's looking kind of scary because I've drawn all my good cards. <laughs> oh no. Hey Thala, welcome back. Two, three, four, five. Oh, these are from the last fight. Hold on. Ah! Yeah, this is not good. Um, roll the die. I could just die this turn. The, if I die, it's, it's gonna be really shit. Are you kidding? <laughs> um, I can't damage or get block. 
the only thing I can really do is war cry. I gotta draw a really good card. This is this is crap. I rolled a three. That's really annoying. Right, I'll war cry. Means we draw two cards. And because I shuffled my deck, I get a strength. Okay, cleave helps. Oh, something has to go on top of my draw pile. Um... Gee, I don't know. Let's think this turn. I could do four. That looks it down to eight. Seven. Six. Five. Yeah, I think he's going to hit me for five damage this turn. <laughs> um... I'll put I'll, I'll put this on top of my deck. Man, that's really annoying. I feel so bad to I just it's the first combat of Act 3 and he's gonna kill me. From full health. No it's not! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll cleave him for four, right? We'll get four block. So now he's gonna hit me for eight. That takes an energy. And then I'll disarm him to make him weak. But that's not how you deal with this guy. Making him weak doesn't do anything. I'm gonna have to use a whole potion to get one extra block. It's the only. Yeah, god damn it. So we're gonna skill card twice. And get two block from this. And then I'm gonna play this just to get it out of my deck. And then one block from defend. I did four, and then oh, I should be at seven. Yeah. So he's going to hit me for 5 this turn. Jesus. Oh no, plus the weak. So he's going to hit me for 4. Jesus Christ. Okay. I just need to get a whole bunch of damage this turn. And we're good. Oh, all block. I, I, I just need... <laughs> Twin strike would be good with double tap. Okay, no double tap. Let's roll the dice and see what happens. Five. That draws me a card. This has been worthless. And I get a block. I have to deal with 15 damage this turn. So this will take care of six, 10, 14. Right? Oh, and then he takes down. Okay, yeah, we're good. I think we are perfect this turn. So we will flame barrier for two. Right? That gets us four block. Puts us to five. He takes one damage because he's going to attack me this turn, which gives me an extra block. Then I twin strike for... Six, which puts me to 12. Um, and then I'll shrug it off for three block, putting me at 15. And drawing a card, not that it matters. And then he will hit me for nothing and then die. Jesus, I still took a lot of damage in that fight. That was scary. And it's end of combat, so I heal for one. Whoa. I just had a bad draw on a turn. All right, well, he's dealt with now. It's all good. That was just a normal dude. It was just a normal fight.
Oh, wait. Uh, we get two coins, but we have ectoplasm, so no coins for me. And then, um, let me clean this up. Then we get a card reward, golden ticket, battle, ooh, hoo, hoo, battle trance. One thing this deck needs is card draw, and that's card draw. Ooh, offering is also really good. Uh, I think it's battle trance. Battle Trance, draw three cards, and this turn you can't draw additional cards. I'm okay with that. And, because of Toxic Egg, it can upgrade immediately. Yeah, I'm definitely taking this. So one thing the deck needs. Now it's draw four cards. Nice. Alright, I might try to take a safe path through, because of that first combat. I'm going to try to take a safer path through Act 3. I usually try to hunt elites for the juicy bone marrow, but not today, I don't think. Let's think. Where are we going? We could go here. No. I can't get two bonfires no matter what. But I could just event, attack, event, attack, bonfire, attack, bonfire. Do I have enough relics to win the game? <laughs> Probably. The events in Act 3 can just do damage to me though, that's another problem. Yeah, I think I'm going to go like this. And if I'm feeling really strong, we'll go there. Alright, moving up the track. Wheel of Change. Roll the die. 1. Heal the Fool. 2. Get a Curse. 3. Remove a card. 4. Gain a Relic. 5. Gain 4 HP. And 6. Lose 2 HP. Jesus. I'm not going to look. 5. Gain 4 Gold. I can't gain Gold anymore. <laughs> so... Well, at least it wasn't negative. I'll take neutral. Alright, next combat. Let's shuffle my stuff. Shuffling. Spot weakness has been dog shit. It gave me strength once. Combat time. The Law. He's 28 health. He's gonna make me vulnerable. That's kind of scary. We want to make him weak. If we can. Alright. 3, 4, 5. Battle Trance off the bat. Seeing red off the bat. Let's see what we roll. Spot weakness might be good if we roll low. If we did not roll low. It's trash. I rolled a four, so I get a block, but that's worthless this turn. Okay. We know we're going to seeing red, so we'll do that now. Um, we'll shrug it off just to draw a card, because then we're going to battle trance. Yeah, hold on. Make sure my energy is correct. So, yeah, we're at five. Because of these two, yeah. Um, so we'll spend one to get some block, but it, really I'm here to... That's what we want to see, demon form. Okay, I'll... Is there anything good I could get from Battle Trance now? Because I could demon form... Twin Strike. Well, we know we're demon forming. Let's just do it. Spend two to demon form. Um, 
Yeah, we'll battle trance, fine. Okay, that was a lot of blocking cards of the turn I probably needed to block. Oh well. We will um, twin strike for four damage. I want a battle trance though because it gets me to shuffle my deck and shuffling my deck gets me a um, strength. Oh, do I want to exhaust any cards here? Yeah, I'll exhaust spot weakness and defend. Okay. Next turn, I get a strength. We draw a five. Earthling waking so hard today. He's sleeping. There's disarm. I wanted to see that. Let's roll. Roll a three. It's the worst number I can roll. Every other number helps me. So he's going to hit me for four this turn. So we're definitely going to disarm. That's happening no matter what. So we'll spend one energy to weak him twice. Then a war cry. Oh my gosh, thank you. Okay, so we war cried. We need to put something on the top of our deck. We have three energy left. He's gonna hit me for two. So I'm definitely gonna take damage this turn. What do we want on top of the deck? Probably heavy blade. Yeah, so we're gonna put heavy blade on top of the deck. Then we're going to bash for three. Give him a vulnerability token. For two energy. And we'll defend for one. Then he'll hit me for one twice, because we he's weak. So he does two damage. I take one, unfortunately. Okay, he moves down the track. This turn he's gonna get two strength. Start of the turn, I get one strength. And two. Look at his little feet. Your feet are so cute. Um, and because I shuffled my deck, I get another strength. That's why I kept Heavy Blade on top. Where's Double Twin Strike? Did that pop up anywhere? Did I already play it? Or oh, double tap I mean, not twin strike. Do I just kill him this turn? <laughs> he's vulnerable. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, he's dead. Uh, well, let's roll to see what happens. Five, which means I draw another card and get a block. Now he's mega, mega dead. So if I hit him with this, he'd get hit for Five, doubled, sorry, sorry, let's do the maths. This attack here, if I played this, with three strength, it'd be five, five, which is 10, but he's vulnerable, so 20. Or if I hit him with this, um, it would be three, six, nine, 12, doubled, just 20. Four. Yeah, so we'll double tap and heavy blade. And so he's gonna get hit with 20. <laughs> but it's even more damage than that, by the way. So let's just go through the damage here. So it will be, what did I say, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, right? But it's doubled because of vulnerability, so 24. And then it hits again, but there's no vulnerability. So it hits for another 12, 36. And he has 21 health left, so he's dead. Nice. Um, all right, 
right, so that's taken care of. It gives me a coin, but we don't get coins anymore. And then we get a card reward. Oh, Sentinel's good with blue candle. I might just take this. It's, it's free energy. Free energy and block. And it's a skill, so it upgrades. Hell yeah, I'm just taking this. Or, and if I don't want to exhaust it, I can just do three block for one. That's really good. Combat ended, so I heal for one. Back up to seven. And we'll move up our track here to an event. The Maui head or Moai head. Uh, an enormous stone head emerges from the wall and opens its mouth wide. Lose a rail can gain gold or heal to full health and then lose two health. I'll do that. It means I just heal a health. Cool. I'll take that. That would be really good if you were on like two health. <laughs> He's having fun. Um, I only have one way to go. It's this combat here. Before I flip him, I'll just shuffle the deck. He's just licking himself. I hope I can make it with this deck. The deck, I, the deck feels strong to me. <laughs> draw worm and summon two additional draw worms. I just fought them more. Ten health each. And they attack based off of the die roll. Okay, let's go. Start off with an extra energy. Team form flame barrier. Okay, this isn't. This is. This is all. This is actually pretty fine. Let's see, one. I'm gonna get hit for seven, and then that guy's gonna get stronger. But, a few things happen. Just this. <laughs> By a few things, I mean just this one thing. Um, I should draw a card with it, right? Or should I get a block? This is four block. I need to block for another three. I think drawing cards is the way to solve that. So we'll activate ink bottle. That is not block. Okay, next I'll war cry. Draw two. Then something needs to go on the top of my um, draw pile, which is probably gonna be heavy blade. Okay, now the actual turn starts. We will demon form for two. We're definitely flame burying for two. It gives me four block. Anyone who's going to attack me takes a damage. Um, and yep, yeah, that's it. And then I block one more time. I'm taking damage though. Okay, he goes and hits me for four. 
He goes and hits me for three and gets a block. This guy gets three block and a strength. Jesus. Oh, we have not exhausted anything this turn, relax. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Less combat, I mean, not turn. There's battle trance. Uh, we go to four energy and we roll a four. That gets me just a one block. We'll shrug it off. Oh, a four also means block and atta uh, strength. Uh, attack. Attack. So we're going to. Eight damage is coming in this turn. We'll shrug it off. Um, for that. There's double tap. We can probably kill someone this turn. Oh, and I get a strength for demon form. We'll battle trance to draw four cards. Two, three, four. Spot weakness is once again worthless. If I cleaved twice that would do 8 damage to everyone. He wouldn't be dead. We need more energy. So we'll seeing red. We get one energy. I could double tap cleave. For 8 damage to everyone. Right. He's not even attacking this turn. We don't care about this guy. Yeah, as long as I kill one of these guys, I don't take damage this turn. So I think we definitely double tap cleave. Two energy. And do eight damage to everybody. He's going to hit me for four, he's going to hit me for four. So we'll kill this guy, because I can do six damage to him for one. Boom, he's dead. And then, yeah, I mean, we're looking pretty good here. And then I can pummel strike to kill him. Actually, no, not him because I'm not going to take any damage this turn. This guy, because he was going to get blocked. Cool. He hits me for four. I'm fine. And then I draw. As long as there's one damage card here, there isn't. Okay. Strength for the start of turn. We just need to draw one damaging card, and he's dead. There it is. He's dead. That's that combat over. Would I take two damage? All right, rewards. Coins they don't get, and a card reward. There's another cleave, but I think we're fine. I think we're good. I don't think we need any other cards. Unless it was like another sentinel or something. Some skill card because I'm going to order upgrades. Okay, we're a little low on health, so I'm going to take this opportunity to heal. Wait, I won the fight, so did I go up? Shit, I don't remember. Roll the tape back. I don't remember if I went up a health. Shit. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. Um, I'd hate to cheat. Me. All right, I'll go up a health, and then here I'll go up to full. And then we'll do 
I'm not doing the elite fight, it's too scary, bruv. I just want to kill the Act 3 boss, alright? I have strong relics, I think we're okay. Alright. We have an encounter. Spire Growth. 28 health, turn 1, no action. Oh, and then he starts popping off. Okay, sheesh. Okay, we've got some things here. Six. I can activate... I definitely... I draw a card. Sure, you're not jumping up, buddy. And I can activate anything. Um, I can activate any die relic ability. So I can draw another card or I can get a block. We'll get two energy. Sure. I think we draw another card because drawing cards will get me block. Okay. We'll start off by battle trancing. Can't draw any more cards though. Oh, and he's gonna, this turn he's gonna hit me for six. Yikes. Oh, yes. Okay. So, this is gonna be quite the turn. So, we're going to double tap. Right? Then we're going to. Use blue candle to exhaust spot weakness and sentinel. <laughs> hey buddy. If you start with this to mess with my shit, I'm kicking you off, okay? We can we can get rid of any that we want. Oh actually no no no, hold on. We're not exhausting anything yet. We're not exhausting anything yet. We're going to disarm. To give him three weak. Right. Then we're going to exhaust Sentinel, which will give me three block and three energy. And spot weakness, I guess. Let's get rid of those cards. How much is the rest? Um, one, three, four, five, seven, eight. Okay, that's fine. We will shrug it off, because he's going to hit me for 3... 4 damage. Yeah, so I have to get more block. So we'll spend an energy to shrug it off, but we don't get to draw a card. Next. We... Bash him... Twice. Right. So we do 2 damage. Vulnerable. Then um, four damage, and the vulnerable goes back on. Then we're going to twin strike to do eight damage, because it's four plus four. Um, that was one energy for that, and then we'll cleave and pommel strike for 5 damage total, which takes him to 19, oh no, it takes him to 9, oh Jesus, okay. And then he's going to hit me for, oh, I did um, shrug it off, right? Yeah, so I should be on 6 block. Um, then he's going to hit me for 3 and 1, takes me down to 2, he loses a weak token, and we go to the next round. Jeez. Sorry, I was just off like this. <laughs> He's a cutie. 
All right, next turn. Six. So I draw a card, absolutely. And then um, I get to choose what I do. Um, he's going to do the same thing as he did last time. And we have enough block to deal with it. So since that's the case, I could draw a card or give myself two energy or one block. I think two energy is the way to go here. Start off by shrugging it off for three. And draw a card. Perfect. Warcry is going to make me shuffle. We'll play Warcry, which draws me one card, and then we need to shuffle. Which means we get a strength token. That's why I say perfect. So we draw two cards, and then something goes on top of my draw pile. Um, may as well be this. I don't really care, to be honest. We'll seeing red to get an energy, just to clear it out. Then we'll demon form for two. We'll flame barrier to go up four, block. And he takes one damage because he's trying to attack me. Oh, for each attack in his sequence, so he actually takes two damage. Then I'll pummel strike for three damage. Because if we have strength now, we draw a card. And I don't care about the rest because he can't hurt me. Um, he hits for three and then one, so four damage. And then, yeah, next round one, two, three, four, five. I get a strength token because of demon form. And we're just looking for, yeah, Twin Strike kills him. All right, he's dead. That went well. I was kind of scared with that opening, but yeah, no, really not that big of a deal. So we get a potion and a card reward. And we heal for one, but we're already at full. Card reward. Cool. Evolve. Seems pretty good actually. Especially if we go up against the heart. I'm gonna take Evolve. It thickens the deck. But I love it when my deck gets thick. Only sometimes though. When I consent. Alright, we get to upgrade before we go to the Act 3 boss here. To pick this pretty carefully. Double tap could be really good. How about that card we just picked up? Was it called Evolve? Yes. E, 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 E. Cost of zero. That's pretty good. Hmm. Spot weakness or seeing red. Maybe spot weakness. But oh, it just feels so bad. Yeah, alright. Or double tap? No, that's fine. Yeah, spot weakness it is. I hate this card. I think I exhausted it. We didn't get to a shop, which is a little annoying. Alright, Act 3 boss time. Snail Chan. Oh, hiya, Snail Kun. <laughs> I think I'm going to divorce before that, though, Mary. 
Dajabu? So does ne. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. It's cringe as fuck. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. The snail. It's 60 health because I'm playing by myself. Okay, let's read his abilities very carefully. And I'll sort my little tokens here. Okay. Time warp. Each player can't play more cards, um, more cards this turn than the number in the clock. So it goes five, four, three. And then haste. The first time time eater reaches zero HP, it immediately heals for thirty per player, gains a strength, and uh, remove all weak and vulnerable tokens from it. Hits for four, hits for six, and gets stronger. Essentially, this is why I put Evolve in my deck, is because of this. Hopefully we can get him. I feel like I must have knocked this at some point. Let's shift it over. Alright. Let's get a favorable... We want like demon form, we want evolve, we want disarm, you know, any of that shit would be really cool. Um, we'll activate lantern. Alright, let's go. We got disarm, one of the things I asked for. A three. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Okay. Um, I think we definitely have to war cry. Oh, he's just gonna hit me this turn. Yeah, I need to draw 100%. Well, there's a Volve. Let's shrug it off. Okay, okay, okay. Something needs to go on top of my draw pile, though. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what goes on there. Because we're shrugging it off. Alright, so... <laughs> um, one energy to evolve. We're not going to take two damage this turn. Actually, we're not going to take any. We're fine. Um, He's crying. Oh, he wants some food. No! <laughs> Shiro! <laughs> Come on! Shiro! Give me! I'll feed He's also skinny as fuck though. No, he's not. He's Dude, when we talking to Vet, wasn't he underweight? No. He was a good hmm. Alright, what were we doing? He played Evolve. Okay. Shrug it off. For one, to give me three block. Wait, did I give that other guy three weak? Should have only been two. Um, there's Evolve. I mean, shrug it off. I may as well sing. Oh wait, how many cards have I played this turn? Just two, three. So I'm gonna play two more cards. So I'll disarm. And then bash. This will be my fifth card. Yeah. So he takes two. 
and gets a vulnerability. I gotta track how many cards I'm playing. Okay. So he'll hit me for two damage because of weak. All right. And we move down the track. Draw five cards. We can only play four. Hopefully there's a demon form. This be the perfect term for a demon form. And we'll roll a die to see what happens. No demon form. I'm definitely gonna battle trance. Four. That gets me a block. And that's it, right? Oh, if we get spot the weakness, we can get a strength. Okay. But we get a block, not that it matters. Alright, we battle trance. This happens 100%. So we draw four cards. Let's spot the weakness. Two, three, four. I got the two cards I wanted. So we'll spend two energy and then one energy. Put this into play. Uh, play this, which gets us a strength immediately. And that's three cards this turn that we've played. <clears throat> I get one more card. What does the most damage? I can't afford Heavy Blade. So yeah, we play Cleave. We Cleave for four damage. That's the end of that turn. And then he spends his turn putting three of these into my discard pile. But I have Evolve now, so that will help. Sort of. <laughs> okay, anyway. One, two, three, four. Give this a good shuffle. Oh, wait. Did I hit him? I cleaved for three, right? How much is cleave? It should have doubled because of the vulnerability. Three but one strength. So we hit him for an additional four damage. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. We take away the vulnerability. Okay, so he's going to hit me for five this turn, and then he's going to get stronger. We've shuffled our deck, so we get a strength, and demon form activates, so we get another strength. Flame barrier. Would have been better next turn, but I'm not complaining. Three. Nothing happens. Okay. The flame barrier to block. We get four block. He takes one damage. Because he's intending to attack. And honestly this turn I think I'm going to have to take some damage. Because we need to do damage. I could set block up. I mean I could set up vulnerable. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. So we'll hit for five. Give him a vulnerability token. Um, and that will be my turn because I'm out of energy. He's going to hit me for six. And get a strength token. Oh, he's going to hit me for five and get a strength token. Okay. Next turn. We get a strength. One, two, three, four, five. We can now play five cards. This turn he's going to hit me for six. Hmm. 
If we could get Twin Strike, that'd be really good, but I need to draw one card, but I'm gonna, yeah, I have to play that anyway, so. Oh, we haven't rolled yet. Five. Draw a card, get a block. Okay. Oh, and since Evolve is on, whenever you draw a status, draw an additional card. Whenever you draw a status, draw an additional card. Whenever you draw a status, draw an additional card. There's spot weakness. I must not have shuffled that well. <laughs> I tried to do an extra good shuffle, but it didn't work out. Okay. Um, so let's see. He's going to hit me for six. I have one block. I can play five cards. If that's the case, these two definitely get played. So let's do what we know we're gonna do. We'll shrug it off for one. Go up three block, draw a card. Okay, double tap's good. We will sentinel. Get another three. Stop all the damage this turn. And then we'll double tap cleave. That's four cards played this turn, so we're fine. Double tap cleave. Yeah. And I think we're good, because I can't play the rest of these. I might want to exhaust this. We'll think about it. So... Let's make sure we did our energy correctly. If we shrugged, then we did that. We roll a five, we got, yeah. Yeah, so this is the rest of my energy. So double tap and cleave. Cleave does one, two, three, four, plus, um, so seven, doubled is 14 for the first hit. And then the second hit, we'll just hit for seven, and the 23. And that's, and then I'm going to, I don't think I need seeing red. I just don't think I need it. Because cards, the amount of cards we can play a turn as a resource. So I'm going to blue candle and exhaust all of these. And that's my turn. He goes, I'll get rid of this. He hits for six, and that's that. He moves down the track. I draw five cards. And this is like a free turn to do damage. So hopefully we draw all our damage cards this turn, and then all our defense cards next turn. That's what killed my last run, by the way. If I just drawn them in the reverse order, I would have won that that run, but, you know, that's what happens. Oh look, damage cards! <laughs> nice! I get a strength at the start of the turn, we'll roll to see what happens. Five, that means I draw an additional card and get a block. Do I want to draw? Or do we just do damage this turn? Just play these two. Because my fear is if I draw, I'm going to draw like defense cards. I already see three of them, so I don't think I want to draw anymore. Let's just hit him. So we'll twin strike for five, seven twice, so 14. Uh, what are we at? 23? So it takes him to nine, right? Maths? Yes. Oh, do I just kill him this turn? And then heavy blade for 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Yeah, oh, he's just dead. Oh no, he doesn't die. He doesn't die. I forgot. Okay. Um, he heals because he's a <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> okay. Hey, so the first time the time meter reaches 0 HP, it immediately heals to 30. Gain strength and remove all the tokens. Ok. 
Okay, so now he has two strength. That's kind of scary, actually. Because now he can only... I can only play three cards next turn. I thought I'd won the fight. I wasn't paying attention. Whoopsie. Okay, he does his turn. Does he still get to do his turn? That's bullshit. <laughs> this time it immediately heals 30 HP. Yeah, I guess so. Flame Strike would have been... Well, not Flame Strike, whatever it's called. The Flame Defense card would have been a lot better. Like next turn or the turn after, but it is what it is. Uh, do, 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 do. I get a Strength Token. Draw a 5. Okay, and he's going to hit 4, 8 this turn. As long as it doesn't kill me, we're fine. Alright, so we definitely draw a card. I can only play 3 cards though. I don't have a way to exhaust this anymore. Whoops. And I can activate anything I want. I think I activate block. Yeah, and then I think we shrug, sentinel, activate block here, and bash. That's three cards I get to play, and we block seven out of eight? Yeah, that's good. So we'll activate the block, we'll play shrug it off for one, get three block, draw a card. Unfortunately I can't do 30 this turn. A little sentinel for three block. And then we will bash for our last card. And that will do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's line this up. So he takes eight damage, goes to 22, and gets a vulnerability. And I'm gonna hit him next turn. All right, I'm gonna hit him. He'll hit for eight. And get a strength token. Oh, I never get to use this. <laughs> I'm using it. Start of next turn, I'll get a strength token. So, like this, right? Yeah. Big strength. You can get to a maximum of eight. Was that true? Yes. <laughs> okay. The max is eight. Okay. Reset my track. And he's vulnerable for this turn. If I get Heavy Blade, Twin Strike, or Double Tap and some other card, we should just kill him. We'll be very close to. There's Double Tap. Okay, we drew two of those, but because of Evolve, we draw more. Okay, oh we roll the die. One. That makes me trigger anything I want. So how much damage is he going to do this turn? Ten. The question is whether I can kill him, and I need to do that maths now. So I could double tap, bash. That would hit for 9, and then 18, and then, yeah, he's dead. Let's think about it though, because if I fuck up, we're dead. Double tap, I hit for 2 plus 7 is 9. Boom, that takes him down to uh, 13. And then he gets hit again for 18, and then I can hit him again for 18. Yeah, so he's dead. So, we will double tap for one, and then bash for two, um, seven plus two is nine, and then he's vulnerable. Oh, he was vulnerable last turn? Brav. He was, wasn't he? So it didn't matter anyway. So he's down to 4, and then I hit him again for um, 18, he's super dead, and I can hit him again for 18. Okay, woof, 
That is the Time Eater dead. Nice. I got all three keys, so that means we do go to Act 4. No rewards though for beating the act, you just go straight into it, good luck. So I'm going to do a good shuffle. Actually, we're not going to shuffle because we get to upgrade. So, we can get rid of the time eater. You're out of here. Bye-bye. I'm going to go straight into Act 4. Time eater and Act 4 is the exact reason why I took the Evolve card. It turned out to be fantastic in that last fight. Evolve was probably the MVP in that fight. Okay. So, we start off... What was our little nipple? Start off in Act 4 at a, uh, at a bonfire, which means we can heal. Oh, we go back up to full health anyway. Sometimes you can have a relic that lets you pick a card when you rest. So, you could rest here if you want it. Or there's like, um, in the video game, I don't know if it is in this one, you can permanently get a strength upgrade at a campfire. But what we're going to do is upgrade. This just makes it plus zero, right? Don't care about that. I think... Battle Trance is already upgraded. Double tap would be good. This doesn't vulnerable twice. If this vulnerable twice... I will lose my mind. Just one. Disarm. Weirdly, I might just upgrade a... Defense, like just a normal defend. That's five. That's really good. 5 fight times 5 is 25. That's really good. But if we're dead, we can't play it. <laughs> uh, I'll take heavy... Uh, I don't think we're hurting for damage. I think we're going to be scared of dying. I'm going to make a weird decision and just upgrade a normal defend. I'm scared. Okay, <laughs> be nice. And then we move along to the shop. We need to populate the shop. I have seven coins to deal with. Those relics are trash. The potions are really good, so... And we might remove a card. I don't know what I'll remove, though. I think there's like a normal strike in there. Probably just get rid of that. Fairy in the bottle. Oh, cunning potion? Oh, god. That's really good. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> and also... seven coins. I think I just buy these two potions. For six. Well, the vulner What's better, the vulnerability potion or... Cunning... These aren't like playing cards, so they don't activate his dumb shit. Yeah, I take this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can we switch Australian gold coins to these? Because these roll. Hey, Mercury Gaming. What's up, my man? We're right at the end here. I'm just going to chime in here and talk about a mistake I made. The Corrupted Heart has a, an ability called Beat to Death. 
you'll notice the three cubes down the bottom. So you can have three cubes of beat to death total. Um, what this does, if my memory uh, serves, is at the end of the turn you take one damage per cube. Okay? Thing is, he starts the fight with one cube, which I misread. Um, I don't think it actually changes how the fight goes. I might have made one decision or two differently, maybe played a block card when I would have done damage, but I don't think the outcome of the fight would have changed. But just putting that up out front. So they are invincible. Crab's Heart can't gain weak or go below 50 HP per player until it goes through the track once. Lame, which means I can't weaken these attacks. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> All right, I'll do my best. Probably won't kill him. Um, I don't like. I don't really care if I kill him or not. The fact that we got here, you know, is a blessing itself. I'm a happy boy. I didn't have to cheat to get to Act Four. Feels good. I kind of kicked the shit through that last boss. Kind of. It was a good fight, but I was not. Okay. First turn. Demon form on the first draw. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. All right. Roll the four, which means anything that happens is I get a block. Man, that vulnerable next turn is going to kick my ass. We activate this. Demon form. Two. It's gonna draw one card and see what we get. Hopefully, it's like evolve. <laughs> My man. <laughs> and then twin strike to end it for four damage. There's no way I'm winning this fight. <laughs> it's just no shot. Same problem as last time. I kind of explode in damage and then. That's it. Okay, so he's going to... Jesus Christ, he's gonna weaken me and vulnerable me. And then he's going to shuffle in... One, two, three, four, five, into my draw pile. What a loser. I'm gonna shuffle afterwards, I'm just splitting them up a bit. But I did draw Evolve. So that's really good. <laughs> it means like they're not taking up a slot technically. That was such a good draw. Jesus Christ. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Get wrecked. Okay, he's going to hit me for 10 this turn. Which is fucking scary. Two. That activates energy for me. And that's it. I have no blocking at the moment. Fuck. Um, this, yeah, that's bad. It means I'm dead unless I can get some block. Where's all my block? What happened? Alright, well we're on full energy, so... I'll pummel strike for, wait, okay, we got strength at the start of the turn, um, but I'm weak, so I just hit for two, right, takes one energy and we draw a card, that is not block, <laughs> I'm going to war cry to draw two cards, something has to go on top of my discard, uh, on top of my draw pile. It doesn't matter what goes on top of my draw pile. I'll just put this here. Okay, then I'm going to spot weakness, because I actually rolled low for like the first time in eternity, and gain a strength. Definitely sentineling 
That's always happening. Three block. Then I'll battle trance to draw four cards. Oh, we lost that weak. That's all good. Oh, flame barrier. Thank God. Actually, it would have been better next turn, but this is fine. I'm not complaining. Um, so we have three energy. Well, no, I, uh, let's get rid of this. Go up in energy. We're definitely playing this. Four block. And he's going to try to attack me, so he goes down. Like that. I can't disarm him, because he needs to get below 50 health before I can do that. So this is a dead card until that happens. So I'll bash him for four damage and give him a vulnerability token. I don't want to exhaust anything. So that's that. Okay. Somehow that t turn turned out okay. T t t t today, Junior, um, he's going to hit for 10 because of the vulnerability. I have 7 block, so take 3 damage. That's so scary. Alright. And then we go, he goes down the track. That's six. Um, four, five. We get a strength token for the start of the round. Draw three days cards. Um, but because of evolve, it just means I draw three cards. Actually draw another two cards. These are actually fine. I'm not afraid of these at all. It's just cycles. These are these are not a they're not an issue. Um, and I draw another two. Okay. Oh, we shuffled the deck, so we get a strength. We're up to four. Yeah, baby. Okay, things we know we're doing this turn. Oh, wait, we have to roll first. He's going to hit me for the six. I roll the six. I draw a card. Oops, I accidentally saw the top. Fuck me. Well! <laughs> uh, I'm drawing a card anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'll get a block, I think. Or do I want the energy? Two energy? Probably, right? I'll take the two energy. Right, I'll block for one energy, go up three, draw a card. We'll pommel strike for six damage. No, he's vulnerable. No, 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 we're not doing this yet. We will heavy blade. So it's six per strength no 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 yes 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 <laughs> sorry three six nine twelve fifteen right yes three six nine twelve fifteen that's doubled so it's 30 damage it's down to 60. it's two energy to play that Next, I will pummel. Do I want to pummel? No, I don't think so. Next, I'm going to twin strike for six plus six is 12. So he's at 48. So now, Things get scary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I can weaken him now, finally. So that's played. Then I just need to block... We can lose the vulnerability token. Now I just need to block three damage. So I'll spend the rest of my energy just blocking for three. Okay. 
That's the end of my turn. Um, so he'll hit for six. Whack, whack, whack. And he'll move down the track. And his turn ended, so now this happens. At the end of the turn, all players take one damage per cube. I'll start of combat at a cube? No! Okay, I fucked up. I didn't realize I cheated. Okay, fuck. I didn't know! <laughs> I didn't know! I didn't read the thing! Shut up! <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I'm not playing against myself. Um, okay, next turn. He's just gonna get two strength this turn. This is where I draw all my fucking defense, huh? Um, I get a strength at the start of the turn. We're up to five. And he's going to... Okay. Um, he's just going to get two strength. So... Oh, roll the dice, see what happens. Five. I draw a card and get a block. Well, battle trance, fuck yeah. Um, can't activate this. I'm definitely playing battle trance. I only have four energy. I could exhaust these two this turn. No. He's not attacking me this turn. There's no point playing Shrug it off, so I'll just battle trance. Draw three. Ah, there's Disarm. And Shuffle. Four. Okay, we don't need to block this turn. So I think we definitely play Disarm. It gives him two weak. That's gonna be huge. And then... I think I double tap Bash and hope I draw Heavy Blade. There's nothing else to really do this turn. Yeah, it's double tap Bash. Yeah. So the rest can go on my discard. So, it's the rest of my energy. I hit him for 7. And give him vulnerable. And then I hit him for 14. And give him vulnerable. Okay, that's the end of that turn. He... Um, end of turn. All players take 1 damage from the thing. Yeah. Well, I did it wrong anyway. Yeah, that's fine. End of this turn, this comes here, but he took one I took one before that. He gets two strength. And he's back up to here. Okay. Next turn. I get a strength token. I'm up to six out of eight. We roll. Five. That's an extra card draw and a block. He's going to hit me for 7, 6. He's going to hit me for 6. Drew this, draw a card. Drew this, draw a card. I drew this, draw a card. There's no way. <laughs> okay. It's, oh, there's Heavy Blade. And Twin Strike. Here we go. Um... But I don't have energy to do everything I want. Heavy Blade has to happen, right? Well, let's do the maths. Heavy Blade is three... What was three times six? 18, right? So 21, so I do 42 damage. Oh, he's just dead. He's mega dead, hold on. So that's four, 42, because he's vulnerable. It's three, six, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, but it's doubled 
because of this. So 42 damage. And then twin strike, if I did that afterwards, would be um, 6 plus 2 is 8, 16 damage. So I do like 60 damage this turn. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's mega dead. Oh man. <laughs> I wrecked him, even though I kind of cheated a little bit. If the... I'm trying to think back. If I did it the way it was supposed to work, I might have taken like one extra damage. And then that's how that would have worked out. I still had like this, which was going to hit for 8, 16, 24 in one turn for free. Plus this is 28. Uh, well, I may as well just do that this turn. <laughs> 8, 16, 24. Well, I mean, it's 7. Not 6, not 7. Uh, not 8. Plus 4 from that. And if I ever died, I'd come back. As long as it wasn't a multi strike turn. Babe, yeah. you're marrying a winner. We beat the heart with the ironclad. Yay! Hurrah! Yeah. <laughs> Well, Jesus. I still had all my resources ready to go. This was a strong deck. It cycled. That was the important thing. And Evolve was the MVP. This card was the MVP. It helped with the Snail and the Corrupted Heart. It just like completely negated anything, any of their special shit that they did. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Whatever. Free card draw, I guess. That was sick. Yeah. No, that was super fun. Good deck. Had some hairy turns. It's just like, hey, if I don't draw any block this turn, we're in trouble. But that was a, that was a, that was a decent amount of block in this deck. Well, I mean, yeah, that's it. Nice shuffling on these status cards, though. Should be two in here. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> this one makes YouTube. <laughs> Fuck the other one. <laughs> like, you know, I've played three times since my last YouTube upload. Yeah. Right? So I played... <laughs> the Ironclad... The defect video went up, right? And I said, next time, we'll play the Ironclad. And I failed miserably in Act... I think at the end of Act 2. But what if I just uploaded this one? <laughs> and I'm like, look at it! Look at how fucking good I am at the game! <laughs> no, I mean, no one would know. <laughs> hey? Actually true. Actually true, yeah. But you know... True. Alright, I'm packing up here. What time have we got, my love? 436. 436. If anyone has any uh, questions or anything, chuck it in now, because I'll keep this running while I pack up, but once I'm done packing up, I'm out of here. He's got to cook dinner. Oh, I am cooking dinner? Yeah. These are the... Um, these are all the starting strikes and defends I got out. I got out every strike card. I removed all of them. That's part of the reason I won, I guess. <laughs> all right. Yeah, getting demon form on the um, the first turn against the heart, and then evolve as well. Oh, baby. Take me out to dinner first. I'm not this easy. Before you show me a good time, you have to at least take me out to dinner. I am not that easy, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm a good little... I was gonna say Christian boy, but I'm not. I'm a good little <laughs> non-believing boy, okay? I am a good little boy, it's true. That's true. You mean I'm tall, not fat, right? That's what you were saying? Yes. Right, uh -huh. Six foot five. You're not little. That's true. Say it louder so they can hear you. Well, it seems a bit weird if I'm just like, this is how tall I am. Nobody cares. True. Well, weirdly, a lot of people do care. 
Oh, look, I have a little reward egg because I won. I got a little eggy as a prize. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> So are they got like little bits of coconut in them or whatever? No, I just like the shell and the... Um, I almost put the egg in the bag. I'm about to put these pieces in too. I almost picked up the egg. I wish there was a way to ask people... Like people who were gonna watch that video, the Ironclad video. Would you rather see one where I win or one where I lose? Because people might want to see the losing one, but I can't ask. People do like do community posts, but like I have no subscribers, so like no one will see it. So there's no point. But yeah, I'd like to get feedback because if they want to see the losing one, I'd put up both. Yeah. No. Well, it, yeah, it's not supposed to be like a super high win rate game, but I mean, you can make it kind of, not easy, but you could just not do the um, difficulty yeah. challenges, you know? Like me going to the heart, technically I won before I went to the heart, mm -hmm. um, but like just doing the extra stuff I need to do to get to the heart is technically like a difficulty increase. I will say this, earlier I had the choice of picking up, I skipped a rare reward pick and one of them was limit break which doubles your strength. I proved, but if I, I prove, I have proven that if had I taken that, I probably would have lost, I reckon, because most of the time I drew it, I already had one card, spot weakness, that was worthless when I picked it up. If I had two of those, on crucial turns, I, I reckon I would have lost. I think I made the right choice just skipping it. I think it's a noob, what's called a noob trap. Limit break. In the video game it's really good. But here, where you have a strength limit of 8. Yeah, I don't think it's... And it's a dead card otherwise. Yeah, I don't think it's good. And it's upgrade is... That it doesn't exhaust. And it's like, well... I don't care if it doesn't exhaust, because basically if I use it once, I'm going to be maxed anyway. If you use it like number three, I guess if you don't have demon form, then I guess it would be good. But I did have demon form, so yeah. Maybe if you had, um, oh if you had that power card, um, the power card in flame. Limit Break would probably be good for that. Because you could Inflame to get 3 Strength and then Limit Break to get to 6. Pretty much immediately. That would be good. That would be good. I take it back. That would be good. But yeah, not for the deck I had. Nah, it's, it's a win more card with a risk of losing. We don't need to win more if we can guarantee a win. There you have it. My first win. Finally, I can call myself a gamer. <laughs> I bought some new equipment so I can do this from my PC desk. Um, doing in the dining room table is lots of fun because I have like a lot of space or whatever. But it makes the streaming experience pretty annoying <laughs> to be honest. So if I can do it from the PC room that's great. If not, I'll keep doing it from the dining table. Stay tuned for more Slay the Spire and other board games when I get to them. I don't have any more footage right now for, like, as I'm speaking for Slay the Spire, but uh, this weekend I'll probably do a, another run, which I'll turn into a video, and it'll be either the Defect or the Watcher. If you'd like to see one of those characters more than the other, just leave a comment and I'll tally it up, um, and if not, I'll just randomize which one I play. Or, if you'd like to see something like Dark Souls, I'll <laughs> read the rulebook front to back and play that instead, or as well. 
Very quick plug for our media podcast, Jelly Jam Spam. You can find a link for it in the description. And I want to thank you once again very much for watching. See you in the next video.